Dear students, today we have come up with another exciting application scenario to use formulas in Microsoft Excel. And in today's topic, we are going to practice functions using personal expense management system. So let's start the practical. So here is another file which I have created for you, which includes the expense heads. For example, medical expense, education, groceries, car maintenance, petrol, electricity bill, gas bill and security bill, which we have paid in different months of the uh, year. For example, in January, we have paid such amount for all of the bills in February, such amount. And then you can see in March, April, May, June and so on. So you can see that there are some of the cells are empty, which means that in this month, in the month of March, there was no car maintenance, so we did not pay anything uh, to maintain the car. Uh, but however, we use, of course, the car and uh, it consumes sub, some of the expense in petrol. And um, on this particular sheet, uh, which we have entered, so let's uh, have different things which we have in our mind and we want to get answer of those things. So for example, first of the thing is, count number of months when you did not have any expense of car maintenance. So this means I need to uh, go from here until here. So this is B5. So I'm saying equal to count blank, right? So this will count all of the blanks from car maintenance is B, Five until M5. So it says in seven of the months out of 12 months, we did not pay anything for car maintenance. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is how we have calculated. And then, uh, for example, there is another query uh, in our mind. Count how many months you paid more than 20,000 for electricity bill. So for how many months you have paid more than 20,000 bill as electricity. So let's try to compute electricity bill is in this uh, 7. So from B7 equal to count if would not only count uh, without any criteria, it would need any criteria. So we will apply that criteria, for example, B7, this one, until M7. So this is the range. And then my criteria is 20,000. So greater than 20,000, sorry. So I'm coming over here again. Greater than 20,000. So whatever is your criteria, you need to enclose that criteria in double quotes. And it says that in four months, we have paid more than 20,000 as a bill. Then we want to calculate sum of each bill expense wise. So we want to calculate sum of the uh, each bill. And then we want to calculate sum of each bill month wise. So for example, if we want to calculate the expense wise, this means that for medical, how many uh, we have paid? So for example, if I'm going to write it over here, or maybe we can write it over here, no problem. Equal to sum B2 until M2, right? So it's not necessary that you need to calculate things in the um, uh, cell which is adjacent to that cell. So you can calculate over, uh, even over here as well, no problem. So for medical, we have paid in this month, uh, in this year, 291,951 rupees. So if I want to uh, calculate all of those, so I will write it over here, equal to sum B2 until M2. And then I will drag it like this. So this is the actual uh, answer of this query, sum of each bill expense wise. 
and if we cal want to calculate sum of each bill month wise that in January how much we have paid so equal to sum B2 until B9. So in the month of January we have total expense of 82,000 rupees and then we can go in this direction right so this is the answer of this and then total expense of whole year so you can add all of these bills or you can add all of these bills so it should be the same so let's try to do it over here equal to sum of n to until n 10 maybe n 9 so the total expense is this right and then we also want to perform some conditional formatting over here as well so going to home uh, first of all select for example this thing and then going to home and going to conditional formatting so we want to highlight color uh, highlight some of the uh, cells which have some greater value of for example at the moment we have written 40 so we can say anything which is greater than 20000 so you can see that these are four values which are greater than 20000 so such a conditional formatting you can apply over here so there are many many different type of conditional formattings options available so this is a very small data which on which we have worked so this data might be very very long so in such situation it is very easy to use such formulas to calculate the things so let's conclude today's module we have applied uh, microsoft excel formulas to another application scenario so in though in these two scenarios one we applied in the last module and one in in this module on personal expense management so we have learned that how such formulas can be applied in real life and how the microsoft excel formulas help us to compute some averages minimum maximum and number of other exciting functionalities from hundreds and thousands of data cells available in our Microsoft Excel sheets.